watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And NASA is now sounding the alarm about the dangers of incoming meteors. Wow, the head of the space agency calling for a high-tech early warning system to protect the country, but he says the government's not willing to pay for it. ABC's Devin Dwyer joining us now from Washington with the latest on this one. Good morning, Devin. Hey, good morning, John and Dana. That's right. Well, after that major meteor strike in Russia last month, scientists now want Congress to take action so that a similar disaster doesn't happen here. NASA Chief Charles Bolden was on Capitol Hill yesterday. He said that a small meteor that injured more than 1,000 people in Russia could have been detected, even deflected, if the right equipment was in place. He says the U.S. needs new outer space telescopes with infrared technology to track meteors because right now there's not much we can do. If you detected uh, even a small one, uh, like the one that uh, detonated in, in, in Russia, um, headed for New York City in three weeks, what would we do? The answer to you is, if it's coming in three weeks, uh, pray. Now, that meteor was only about 55 feet long. Experts say the chances of a major catastrophe from a meteor are slim, but of course they're very real now. They say there's roughly 10,000 small meteors floating around within range of Earth, all of those capable of destroying a major U.S. city. John and Diana. Whoa, scary stuff. All right, Devin Dwyer in Washington for us this morning. Thank you.